Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, I read everybody's comments. So yesterday I asked what you would want to see. Do you want this globe floating in a nebula so that you can see through it and see the nebula through it? Or you could have had this sitting on a tabletop and the nebula going through the globe. I have to say most of you said you wanted to see number two. You want to see the, this globe floating through a nebula. Well, <laughs> I want to congratulate Amazing Grace XOXO1. I believe it's one. I'm, I'm not turning around to look at my computer. But Amazing Grace seems to have grasped what I was doing. And she was probably one of the only ones who did. So, we are not going to be doing number two. We're going to be doing number one. And the reason we're doing number one is because that is so much more interesting. But I'm going to teach you how to do both of them, of course. I'm not going to miss out on a teaching opportunity. So, what am I going to do today? Today, I'm going to teach you how to do it. I'm going to explain it step by step. And tomorrow's video, I'm going to demo this out for you and show you what it'll look like. So let's get started because we got a lot to learn today. Okay, we're going to start with a circle. The circle being the globe in flat uh, two dimensions. But here's my little teaching ball, and that fits right in there. That's good. We're going to learn how to do this sitting on a desk because I'm going to teach you how to float the nebula surrounding the castle. And I'm going to teach you a little bit about perspective, which is extremely important, and about shadowing because first of all I was asked by a couple of people they want to learn how to make smoke and I think that's very appropriate being that it's going to be Halloween and we're working on Halloween pictures so if you're going to want to learn how to draw fog and smoke this is the video for you and we have Christmas coming up everybody's going to want to do a snow globe or two they're fun to do so this, this video is really going to um, take in everything that I've taught you already and, and where we're going. Plus, it's gonna, we're going to go over the nebula colors and how to do it. Now, what level is this at? I would actually guess a nebula is at least intermediate level. So my beginning people, don't get freaked out if your nebulas do not work out took me a long time to be able to do a nebula. They look so easy and they're not, not for a really good one. It took me several attempts. Okay. So this is more for uh, people who really, really know how to blend their colors. We'll talk about that, but let's talk about the shadowing on this. Okay. So we're going to just extend this out. Remember, we were talking about doing the bubbles, and I will insert the card for the bubble video right now. Okay, you should see it up there. Click on that button if you have not watched it yet. Go watch that video. Snow globes are just bubbles, and we're going to treat the glass of the snow globe just like we did the bubble. Doesn't matter what's inside. So I'm going to put, say, and then we'll just draw in a makeshift castle.
Okay. That's just for purposes of us doing this lesson. First thing I want to think about is my shadows. Now, watch what happens when I put a clear object down and shoot the light through. All light. What makes this one different is this shadow has all these bright lights that come through. It's just the way um, the light goes through the glass and forms the shadow. So we're going to have to take that into consideration when we're doing the shadow. So if I'm going to be thinking about shadowing this, My shadow is now in, and I'm going to think, okay, this is going to be my bright area. Okay? And then we could put that away, and we won't have to deal with this until the end. Now, if I was going to do the nebula and I was going to have it floating in space, what Amazing Grace said was it's just like the wings that we did on the ferry where we made it translucent. So everything that's behind would extend through and this would all be the same color. And then... From there, it's just a matter of putting the lines in for the glass, like the bubble, and calling it a day. Yawn. Now we want to work on here and make it look different. We're going to do the fog. Now, I spent all that time rendering that bottom picture, making all the details there, and now I'm about to give every newbie person who's afraid of shadows a heart attack. So here's all the details of the, the castle and we've got all sorts of details going through it. Now what I'm going to make you do when we're rendering your uh pictures when we're doing the nebula you're gonna draw right over it and I know you guys hate that with the shadows and now I'm gonna make you do it with the castle or whichever picture you're gonna do if you're gonna do smoke and fog what you're gonna do to make the smoke and fog go around the castle okay you're going to have to start off at the top and you put your pencil on the edge of the object. You're going to go around. And in this case, we're going to be making it foggy so it'll be up and down. And you're going to go straight across over your colors, down and back around, ending right here so that you don't really see it unless there's see-through, unless it's see-through, because if it's see-through, then you, you put it in. But say this castle was completely not see-through. It's going to go, maybe I should switch a pencil so you can see it better. We're going to be taking that fog and we're going to work it very lightly and end up right there. Now say I want fog to go around here. I'm going to take it out, go straight across it, and end up right back there. And then I'm going to do the same, say over here, and on the floor. Um, so this goes around the castle on here. I'm going to follow the globe 
and I'm going to go in and around. So what you're going to end up with is fog going through your your globe or around a tree. Say you have a tree. Make a nice creepy Halloween tree and we'll just take this out. Icky roots, you know, ugly face on it. So there we have the roots. I want to make my fog going around the base. I'm going to go straight through the tree and around back so that the fog goes both in front and around the back. This is perspective. How to create illusion. Now, there has to be a tabletop. I'm going to choose, I'm going to use a straight edge, which I don't seem to have right at this second. Oh, here's one. I'm going to take that straight edge. Now, wherever you want your line, your table to be, it could be up here and then, or it could be down here, but I'm going to put it like right here. And I'm going to draw it a line. This is called a horizon line. And it's the point where two meet. This case, in this case, it would be the wall and the table. In the distance, it could be the sky and the sand. Um, it could be the ocean and the sky. Wherever that line is, is your horizon line. It's very important, especially in landscapes, to know exactly where you line, your horizon line. It has a lot to do with um, drawing in perspective. But for this case, where I didn't get a horizon line on the picture, you can see here, there's no horizon line, so there's no way for me to tell what this globe is doing. I'm going to put in my horizon line right around here. And this will be the wall. The nebula is going to come here. I'm going to teach you how to do the nebula. We're going to go through the nebula colors and, and how, how to do it in the next video. But this is how I'm preparing. And then I'm going to do the nebula that it goes through all my hard work and comes out the back. I hope you enjoyed my little trick and we will see you tomorrow.